best that he can at this tournament. Yeah. Kind of inspiring. Yeah. Especially after the reverse 3 0 versus Polish. Mm -hmm. uh, last last hit reverse 3 0, I'm pretty sure. Yes, still had the steel to put together a, a clutch set like that. Exactly. And the crowd is going wild. They want to see Lit. Levin Sheik, by the way, the first time it has appeared in tournament versus Marth in a bracket. Yeah, and those are the conversions that he knows so well, getting a quick 60% mm -hmm. from a single grab. Yeah, and the F tilt, fair into needle. In up air, yep. And juggling Marth, that's what you want to do. Perfectly. You know Levin has practiced this completely to a T. He's got all the flow charts down. He knows exactly what he's supposed to do. Yeah, a well-spaced fair knocks Zane off, but the immediate adaptation is Zane dashes onto the stage the next time around. And a pivot tipper from Zane will uh, send Levin off stage into a second edge guard situation. Ops attack and then able to recover to the edge. Uses, okay, already using the platforms as sort of a launching pad to extend the range of that fair. An unfortunate an SD. SD. It was a great looking first stock from Leffen. But Joe just jumps off stage immediately, goes for the back air, and then catches Zane on the top platform with the back air and will take that stock. Yeah, ready to chase him down. Something I saw in the last talk that was like really, really micro. So on one of the dash dances, Zane or Zane was in center stage and dash danced a couple of times and then waited out left and spot dodge and then dash dance again, I think missed an input. But I'm gonna be very interested to see how these dash dances end up catching Leffen on these spot dodges and how Leffen will end up adapting. I mean, Leffen's punish impressive of the first stock. Can we talk about this one from Zane? Yeah. Actually not able to get the Ken combo, but it's still going. It has been a 15 second sequence that leads in the stock for Zane. Amazing stuff. Yeah, Zane's looking like but dynasty. Leffen just good. firing right back. A clean wow. 90% and takes the stock. They love to see it. Zane, I mean, being cheered against is not something he's had to deal with until very recently, but he's the obvious number one, and people always root for the underdog. And this is his region, too. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there are people going real hard for him out there, but people are so excited to see Left and Sheik for the first yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. This would also be Zane's first major, like, in-region win. He's never won a pounder or smash combo before. I, I wish all the homies in the chat could feel the electricity that's coming from the crowd. It's made its way through the stage to Literally us. Literally, anytime anyone gets a single grab, a single hit, the crowd goes wild, and I'm living for it. And the double <laughs> jab into forward air on, uh, on Leffen's one will send Zane flying and take that stock. Yeah, Leffen up so far in game one. We've seen Zane is able to take a stock pretty much from zero all the way to death. May not have to do it if we get this one here. Just continuously grab onto the mash out on Leffen's bar. We'll get some more percent. Yeah, and again, the crouch cancel is a big factor wow. versus Sheik in any matchup. Huge. The tournament winner gets him. He's able to recover in time. But the I slide off up air on Zane's bar, what a crazy defensive option. Oh, backs Catches up. the roll in. Yeah, the art of the tipper is not dead. Able to catch the roll in with the forward smash. We have a last stock scenario in game one. It couldn't have gone any other way. It a had to be this Zane's way. on the jump. Oh, the forwarder might forward do it. Forward tilt fair. One edge situation. Roll up and Leffen on the board. The crowd going crazy. That's one small pop off for Leffen. One big one from the crowd as Leffen wins game one. Could he dethrone Zane so far in this tournament? All I'm saying is Levin's been looking incredible this yeah. game so far. I mean, this is a secondary Sheik. He tweeted before the tournament saying it was pretty rusty and not in practice, but it's looking clean right now. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty... I mean, I think it was pretty obvious before the set. This is Zane's biggest challenge this tournament, mm -hmm. um, and it's proven to be that way so far in game one. We're on Yoshi's story in game two. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, both of the other top three players being... Uh, what is it, Mango and Cody are not in right now, yep. so the only really, really major threat Zane's got to worry about right now, assuming, you know, nothing else crazy happens, is <laughs> Leffen. Yeah. Catches Leffen on the Waveland off the top platform with the fair. Yeah, the juggle from Zane was fairly good, but Leffen did a fairly good job at getting back to the stage. Can we do it one more time? We'll see what happens. A clean upper from ledge will send Leffen off stage, but gets counterattacked, and a down smash will actually cover the top platform and the area around it. Sweeps the floor, grabs the ledge, and gets a tipper. Zane is up Wait. four stocks to three. Something is Leffen? happening. Leffen is gesturing towards... He's gesturing towards the television. Something's happening. Did it go out or something? The, the, I, I can't see on the player cam, but... I think something's going on. Okay, we have... I see a little camera searching around over there. I don't think the TV went out. We're, we're going to find out. We'll, 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 production will tell us, but something's going on. Interesting. Kind of interesting to see what's going to happen. A little controversy here. Something with a controller? Maybe? 
Oh, he's testing the controller. It's... Goomwave? Need a reflash or something? Okay, yeah. That's crazy. I see some of the production people heading out there. Oh, yeah, they are going to be, you know, the firemen going out there with the extinguishers trying to light out everything. I don't know what's going on, though. This has got to be crazy. Like, for Levin to make a gesture like that at the TV, like, it wasn't the controller, because you've definitely seen players, it's you know, setup, yeah. concerned with their controllers before they look at the controller. You know, some people throw the controllers. But Levin definitely made a gesture towards the television. So uh, I think something's with the setup. IMO should be replayed. Again? Yeah, so uh, the legendary Devin3000 uh, passes on to us that we didn't lose the game feed here. Um, so if anything, it probably wasn't the console because we had the feed the whole time. Yeah, it's got to be the TV or the connection um, from the console to the TV. Is, you know, so is it a potentially, Leffen says, maybe the TV is lagging then? Yeah, flickering. Oops. Flickering, okay. Okay. Um, Leffen, I mean, uh, Leffen trying to get things straightened out. I like Zane's approach here, taking some breaths, trying to stay focused. Because I've up. We've seen things like this before when, um, you know, something gets unplugged, the daisy chain goes out or whatever. Of course. And there's a total turnaround because the players in the lead feels cheated. They can't help but feeling like that. The momentum's gone. Um, it looks like Zane's trying to preserve the mental state. I mean, Zane, Zane does have the heart of a champion at the mind of Absolutely. Yeah. And Zane just staying warm, keeping himself warmed up, keeping his hands warm, moving around with Marth, making sure everything's, you know, chilling. And momentum-wise, I don't know how, what's going to happen with Leffen. Because, you know, he just won that game, crowd behind him, and then all of a sudden the setup is, like, messing up. He might drop, he might lose a game to this yeah. based on the TO rulings. And it's going to be on him to recover from this. Like, you, you were saying this is unseen mental from Leffen in regards to, like, what we've seen on Twitter and how you've seen him, you know, approach as a learning experience. Mm -hmm. But I don't think anyone expected this. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, the question will be, um, for us in a very practical sense, is this going to be one of those things where we reset the whole game? Um, are we going to go back to four stocks to three? A forfeit? And so they're trying to figure it out. No, Double no, DQ? Uh, two, 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 two. And yeah. So Leffen's requesting that they are going to restart the game. That's the current request. We're not sure what's going to happen as of yet. Currently figuring out a ruling, if, but we'll see if, what happens. If truth, if truthfully, so yeah. So now Leffen's request is to play on Zane's side for the rest of the tournament, not trusting the TV. I mean, understandably, right? Because you don't want to ever be at that sort of deficit, especially um, if, you know, we don't abide by his request to reset the game What all will the way. end up happening? Because that first stock was a pretty quick sequence, so if indeed the flicker impacted his defense, then, you know, the first stock is invalid in The way, thing right? that I'm interested in, though, is, you know, that flicker is not... We haven't seen anything like this from any other set in the tournament, from either Ultimate or Melee on the stream setup. And there have also been two sets prior to this where neither, I believe, Amsa nor Aklo uh, noticed anything going on. Yeah. So maybe it's a new issue, maybe it's something going on, maybe it's placebo, but <laughs> well, I, we don't know. And that's the thing, like what will end up happening? It looks like Leffen is motioning to play on the same side as Zayn. I think that's gonna be ending up what happens in regards to- Oh, I see. Wait. We're going back to the old school way. One TV, two yeah. players. So Leffen's gonna play on the same side as Zayn and we are currently uh, having production help with moving the chair to the other side. Everyone's cheering. Yo, this is some old school vibes. Well, I saw um, a pound five sign in the uh, <laughs> little corner in the crowd over there. Something about bonds and uh, pound money or something. But uh, saw the little crowd sign. So you know, we're, we're really back in action. This is some feel, really good, uh, feel good grassroots vibes. Judging by, I, I wanted to say I was lip reading. That's not what's happening. By the gesturing, I think Zane was like, "Yeah, let's just redo the set. Whatever." That, that's, the the game. that's the gesture that I saw. The game. Yeah, the game. The not game. the set. Yeah, I assume the set, the first game will stand. Unless? And I mean, there's no problem. This is the way we used to do it. This is the way we still do it in every set up until the stage on one side of the... One side of the TV. Even earlier um, in top 16, top 32, it was, it was on all one on side. one Yeah, one TV. I mean, they had it ready. Yeah, it's, it, not a, it's not the craziest request either. Like, it's it's not like he was asking to play everything off stream on a specific TV or anything yeah. like that either, so. I mean, in traditional fighting games, we often see um, 
like a player one, player two, one person will ask to switch sides, the player one side or that kind yeah. of thing. It's sort of akin to that. Now, my question is for production is, do you have a cam where they can both be on one side and the game feed up? We're about to find out. The answer is no, because they did not prepare for that. But they're so able to get the So we have Leffen and frame. Zane teaming against the Void right now in <laughs> game two of this set. Okay, and we are resetting. It looks like Zane's picking up right where he left off. The downer knocks him off the stage. But gets back to ledge. And now it's Leffen who's firing back. Okay, he goes for two up tilts. Maybe uh, up tilt and up air works there. Who knows? Beautiful spot dodge on Leffen's part to get away from Zane doing a fair from ledge. And it's going to be interesting to see how they both adapt to each other's, like, how they deal with each other from the ledge. Mm. And clings from behind on the down tilt. And you don't hear that sound very often. Yeah. Gets caught by the up B. Just the latest hitbox of the up B potentially. And <laughs> down throw up air will take another stock to Leffen. Okay, Zane trying to keep the stage position off of the invincibility. Leffen and Alexa go to the edge, and Zane's not giving the center back. Able to land on the cloud, helping it out a little bit. Yeah, Just Zane, chilling on the ledge, you know, Stalin. Yeah, Zane has to cede a little bit of space. But he's caught Leffen with these tournament winners twice, which is fair, and an up air will actually kill off the top. Did not expect that. Mm -hmm. And we are back to even stocks on game two. This feels like a really important one for Zane, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you never want to be down 2-0 in a set, but especially after... What just happened on the screen before, you know, between game one and two? Wow, crouch cancels the whole thing. Killer. I was really impressed with Leffen's uh, wave dash forward, forward tilt. Mm -hmm. Very confident. And these tech chases into an up throw, but Leffen is ready, just wiggles out and jumps immediately. A nice little dash dance, baiting Leffen in. Able to get the grab, but not much off of it. These edge cancels into a side B, gets Leffen on the ledge. He uses the side B, almost gets a big combo out of it. Misses the down air, and also misses the forward smash. Okay, poking him. Really good power shield and left and spark. Okay, Zane now has to work his way out of the corner. Instead, makes a little reversal. Mm -hmm. He's ready for the air dodge. Gets double hit of Nair. And now left once again getting helped by the cloud and is able to get a forward air from uh, Randall. Okay, so far the edge, the recoveries have been pretty good for left Not able to come back this time. It's just too far off stage to have a real mix up. Yeah. And this is good uh, awareness on Zane's part to be able to roll up there. Okay, almost gets punished for the three hits comboing of the um, sword dance. Look at the dash dance from Zane there, just being able to whip out completely against Leffen's moves and get a grab and potentially set up for an edge guard situation. Okay, shields the hit, able to get the grab. Yeah, the cloud again, again on Leffen's side. This cloud is 100% on his side right now. And Leffen's even it up. Okay, trying to show competency on the ledge. Actually gets the tournament winner again. That's something to look out for. And once again covers the ledge. Leffen has gone to ledge twice, and Zane has covered it both times. Yep, down there makes sense. Let's see what happens on this tech chase. Tries to catch Leffen jumping out of shield with that up air, and doesn't really work out super well. But there's patience on Leffen's part to just be able to wave dash back, get some needles, not get hit by these down tilts with the limited amount of stage wow. there is. I, I, the reason I said wow, I was impressed that Zane, who was walling out Leffen for so long, poking the center stage with down tilt, swinging at it with forward air, Leffen still has the gajones to dash all the way across the stage and boost grab. Mm -hmm. There's no fear. Yeah, it's it's knowing Zane, right? Knowing Zane is going to put up a front and then leave empty space behind. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've played so much over the last couple of days and just in general that they know each other and what they're going to do. And once again, covers the ledge. Zane just a mind reader every single time. Like, isn't even throwing out a move to try to contest other spots. Just rolls up or walks up every time. You know, it was like sort of a frustrated expression on Zane's face at the end of the set. Um, let's see if we can see it here. Look at that. A little head shake action going on. I wonder why, because he definitely just took that game. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. But he looks determined now. Maybe it has something to do with the shenanigans that were happening. In either case, it's 1 1. All things are equal in this set so far. We're on Leffen's counterpick of Dreamland. Mm -hmm. Classic sheet counterpick. You know, the platform heights aren't super great for Martha going for up tilts or anything. And a clean grab combo, but gets reversal by Zane and gets another grab on the side platform. Yeah, Leffen's follow ups have been extremely good off the grab. That time only gets 30% and gets reversed on. Uh, two things to watch now from Leffen the tournament winners and can those grab combos be as good as they were in game one? Mm -hmm. Especially with the platform heights, because they can. she can be lethal with these platform heights by doing grab into grab. If he's able to catch Marth on the side platform, just keep him stuck there and get these tech chases. But 
Zane was so quick before um, on the shield pressure from left and does a safe jab. As soon as the fair, just a little, um, excuse me, forward tilt, just a little too close, hits Zane's shield, Zane gets the grab. Mm -hmm. Good defensive awareness. Yeah, great shield drop fair on Leffen's part. Both have been so patient on the ledge. Like, in the last edge guard sequence before this one, Leffen just sat on the ledge wow. so long. Beautiful tipper, by the way. Yeah, tipper forward smash. Um, you know, Plup's first huge win, um, excuse me, Zane's first huge win was against Plup as Sheik early on. So this is sort of how he made a name for himself. Yeah, and also one of Zane's biggest wins was 3-0-ing Leffen at a smash spot for his upcoming player. So, mm. no stranger to doing some crazy things against Leffen. Yeah, will the stars align for Zane in the rest of the set? Back air misses, but is able to continue the punish. The grab just a little short. Oh! And wow, it's actually Levin who comes out on top there, grabs the ledge and just snatches it from Zane. People, a bunch of people in the crowd made the same noise I did. <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't believe that he missed like that. We all love melee here. Yeah. Okay, double jumps forward with the fair. Zane pushing forward. He still presses on. Yeah, and I don't think Levin has a jump, but the air dodge to get back. And wow, wow. look at that edge cancel aerial. You don't, oh, Zane's part. you don't see much shield pressure like that. He edge cancels again. And the side B to continue it. It's a tech skill demonstration from Zane here wow. on this stock. And another catch on the tournament winner on Leffitt's part. That's some of the rust that we've seen earlier. And unfortunately for him, drops a little bit too far down. And it'll be Zane who takes that stock. Just like every other game, we are neck and neck in terms of stocks once again. I kind of hit down with the choice of the back throw there. Put Zane in a precarious position. That's the second time uh, we've seen on this same side of Dreamland that forward tilt getting grabbed. Mm -hmm. I also like Leffen is now not always ledge dashing now. He's kind of being a little more safe and not always opting for something that can lead to a tournament winner. Because he sees that uh, Zane has caught it multiple times and a clean dare conversion and grabs the ledge it in time. Wow, Zane. So on that last stock, Leffen started putting up the bear wall. We haven't seen it so much yet. Zane expertly navigates it and is able to get it. Okay, off the stage, but trying now to even up the stocks Leffen again. Leffen catching the tournament winner this time. Has enough time to get a grab. Rent. Oh, Wispy kind of helping out. Yeah, difficult follow-up, actually. There's no running room because Wispy pushes you all the way to the edge. Oh, he wanted Turn to grab the ledge. Grab the ledge. Probably. Yeah. But, you know, reverse fair. That should take it. I don't think Zane comes back from this, especially with those needles. Leffen has full time to charge, and we have a last stock game, one to one. This is huge for the set. Every game has been like this so far. It has been so close. Zane again controlling the center. A couple down tilts in the set. Wow, well, Leffen chance. I have not heard a Leffen chat in ages, but the crowd is going wild. Yeah, there's a little bit versus Polish last night, but it was not this deafening. Absolutely. And the tight chases are silencing the crowd. Oh, people cheering for Zane now. It's wild out this there. This is competing. huge. Oh, USA chance. A Jose. USA champ, but the up B will send Levin off stage and another forward smash. Yeah, just, just a matter of time before the deal is sealed. Yep. And a reverse up B on Zane's part will get a set of 2 1 so far. Yeah, the re rinse and repeat edge guard works. That's about that was the speedy sloth standard speedy off the screen. popping off. <laughs> That guy loves his melee. I'll Shout out to the what. camera work. We were seeing it from production, uh, on production side, but look at that pop up. Yeah. In the slow mo, too. I actually believe that is the third Lofton out there with that camera, John Lofton. Let's go. Yeah. Shout out to the Loftons. All of them sticking together. Back to Dreamland for game four. Zane has looked good in the last Waits two games. Waits out the spot or just immediately two and gets left and stuck in this pressure situation. Okay, forward smash almost definitely not what you want. The crowd. Off rhythm, clapping to Dreamland. As usual. Classic, and <laughs> messes up Leffen by doing so. And Zane trying to slowly work the stage positioning back. Actually gets Leffen off, probably was, I think was scouting for a dare opportunity. But this is a huge reversal on Leffen's part. Beautiful tilt into aerials, and it will be Leffen who takes that stock so quickly. Not gonna lie, after that last stock, Leffen fell out of the set to me just a little bit, but brings it right back. Leffen showing us, you know, he's still in it to win it. He does not want to lose set. He's not going to losers. He wants to take out Zane. For the first time this game, the players decide to show us the left side of Dreamland. <laughs> <laughs> it's all but taking place on the right corner, and we're back again. They just like the right side. What can I say? Wispy blows more of it, right? I think so, actually. On that side, yeah. It's like not. It's asymmetrical. And now, once again, Zane sets up for an edge guard. I think he saved Leffen actually with that nair. Yeah, maybe. It was a nice reaction to and at least a beautiful hit him. attack. Yep. And grabs the ledge. Fast fall down. The interesting dash attack to send Leffen off stage once again. 
went all the way across. Up and so Raw up will actually it. not kill Leppin, just living with an inch of life. Yeah, and Sheik that close does have a pretty good up B mix up. You can do the shorten right above the ledge. You can go directly to ledge, onto the stage, all sorts of options. Amazing recovery on Leppin's part going above the ledge and then dropping down towards it because they didn't cover it. And a grab, this could be huge. Oh, this is a big punish from Leppin who's just shy of 200%. Now living at 209%, 222%, and oh, just lives. dies. Almost, almost lives that too. Almost lives the fair. Okay, you don't want to let Zane get on too much damage. He's been in the lead for so long these last couple games. And Levin's been firing back over and over. Whenever we see that he seems to be out of the set, he just does something else. Drop through the platform. Wow, he swatted the needle. Did With the side that? Bs, yeah. He swatted Prevents the needle. Getting hit, but it might I, be a little too little too late. I actually don't have ever seen that before. Yeah. Okay, good and needle damage. They're even. Dead even. A CC will get left in a massive punish. Oh, the up are up huge. Air, but a counter hit from Zane will stop it. Is there a palindromic percents? That's the word, right? Palindrome, yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, Just yeah. Raw counters. Yeah, that was a very hard read from Zane. Doesn't get punished too hard, and actually Zane's the one on the offensive now. But a counter hit will have a trade on that shield breaker, so Leffen once again living and not in an edge situation. Man, neither of them are able to keep each other off the recovery. Clean wave line. Bear will... Oh, oh no! no Leffen! He tried to drop low. Maybe he wanted to jump and didn't get it. But he gets the stock anyway, potentially. Yeah, it looks like he's there going from to. ledge, 153%. Can, Le uh, can Zane or Leffen? Can he do it? <gasps> he actually he does. Got, he got hit. Because what you want to do there is jump back far enough that Marth's sword will miss you, and then come back and hit him after the fact. It did not work out that way. I mean, even a simple Marth killer probably would have done it. Covers so much with that Nair and then into the F smash. And Levin once again on the ledge. Hits the ledge dust this time. Ooh. The crowd yelling, go Sheik, alongside <laughs> the game. But not for long, <laughs> as Zane silences it. Oh my gosh. And the grab, the grab punches him, it's so big. But he gets another. the dash back. No, missed the up air. Misses the crouch cancel on the get up attack. It is not the easiest grab follow up, especially for Sheik. The down tilt of the jab, but the great DI from Zayn to not get hit by anything massive. And is so quick to jump to the platform to get away. I mean, before I recognized what happened, he was already out of there. Amazing air dodge from Leffen, but it might not be enough. Oh. A great bear from Ledge. Yeah, I love that he let himself fall to the ledge instead of tacking or something. And the up B, but won't send him far enough. This could be the game. Is Zayn going to winner's finals in PAL 2022? Craftily goes back to the ledge. Doesn't have to use up B. But now he's above the stage. Missed the air dodge top platform. Leffen still in the winner's bracket at this moment. Another amazing air dodge. Zayn in knockdown. He poked! He jabbed him! Wow! Why? Oh, he was. I guess he was too high to crouch cancel. Another oh, air no. dodge, but that's going to be yeah. it. And Zane takes it 3-1 over Leffen. That's a killer set. Uh, okay, gesturing to the TVs. Again. <laughs> gesturing to the TVs again. You played on the same TV this time. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's just too, that's just so crazy. What a crazy set we just had. Absolutely. It, all, it, felt, it felt like a game five to me. Yeah, that, was, that felt yeah. like Game 5. Yeah. Imagine how Game 5 would have been if we got a Game 5 of that set. Every stock, it felt like, went to high percent for both of them, right? And they just could not edge guard each other. The and recoveries were so good. Just zero to deathing each other back and forth. A couple of times during Game 4, like, I kind of thought Leffen's out of it, but every time he proved us wrong, just fired right back. Yeah, one of the matches of the tournament so far. Um, Zane proving he still stands atop the summit. Um, and, I mean, it's going to take a whole lot to dethrone him because the winner of our next set will be the one playing him. Yes, and that's going to be a pretty interesting set, too. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a good one, too.